Today I'll be talking about setting up a DOE in Moldflow Insight. Design of Experiments is a statistical tool which enables you to see the effect of some intervention. For example, changing an experimental processing variable on the quality of the part. It can also tell you which processing conditions have the greatest impact on a given quality indicator by running a series of experiments while varying selected processing conditions and then calculating the results based on user-defined quality indicators. The benefit of DOE is that a significantly greater volume of information can be obtained from the resulting pattern of test data from, than from the usual trial and error experimenting. DOE analysis is supported by mid-plane, dual domain, and 3D mesh types and is available for all molding processes. In general, a DOE can be run at any time during the design phase. However, it is probably best utilized after the material and gate location have been selected and you have performed an initial analysis. The part that I'll be doing a DOE analysis on today is fairly simple. It has a dual domain mesh and is out of a polypropylene material. The analysis I'm going to be running is Cool, Fill, Pack, and Warp. As you can see, this part is fairly simple. It's simply a rectangle with some ribs on the side. But during this testing, we'll be looking at these two end dimensions, the length of the part, the thickness of the ribs, and the thickness of the gate, whether these, can, whether these should be maximized or minimized based on the results. Now I'll be showing you how to set up the DOE. Simply click on Optimization, click Design of Experiment. There are four different types that you can choose from. One variable, variable influences, variable responses, and variable influences then responses. One variable calculates the effect of a single variable of your choosing on part quality criteria that you select. This is the fastest of the DOE experiments and is a good option if you're interested in the effect of only one variable. Variable influences, or Taguchi, calculates the relative influence of each of the variables that you are interested in on the part quality criteria that you select. The variables are ranked according to their relative impact, with those variables having the most significance given a higher percentage than those that have less. Since the results are strictly percent rankings, they are written to the analysis log. No plots are drawn. Variable influences is the recommended experiment to run if you are unsure which variables to monitor. The DOE solver launches an optimized set of analysis to determine this ranking, and from the results you can decide if you need to monitor all the selected variables or a subset of them. You can select as many input variables as you like for this experiment. The third, variable responses. If you know which variables to monitor, select variable responses to determine their effect on each quality criterion that you are interested in. In this experiment, a larger set of experiments is run than for variable influences to test various combinations of the input variables. As a result, this experiment takes more time than the previous two experiments. You can select as many input variables as you like for this one. Lastly, variable influences then responses is what I'll be doing today. This is a hybrid experiment between the variable influences and the variable responses. Variable influences and responses uses the Jaguchi method to determine which variables have the most influence on specific quality criteria and then runs extensive factorial experiments on the most significant input variables to determine how they impact part quality. This option should be selected if you are interested in the effect on part quality of the various input variables but are unsure which input variables have the most significant, significant effect. The minimum number of input variables for this experiment is three. If you leave the default as three, but select more than three, all the selected variables will be ranked using the Taguchi method. Then the three variables with the greatest influence will be used for the responses experiment. Variable influences then responses does create a large number of analyses. The upside is that now that Autodesk has the ability to run analysis on the clouds, the computing time is not that much higher than if you just ran a single analysis. Next, you'll set up the variables. DOE analyses search for optimum processing conditions by automatically launching a series of analysis while varying the values for selected input variables, such as melt temperature, mold temperature, injection time, packing time, thickness multiplier, injection and, injection and packing profile multiplier. 
all of these things can be tested or you can simply pick as many as you need. Today I'll be focusing on the melt temperature, mold open time, injection packing cooling time, packing pressure versus time duration, coolant inlet 2, and coolant inlet 1. I will be also looking for the dimension scale factor that I mentioned earlier, which is those ribs. I'll be seeing if they're, they can be minimized or maximized by 25%. Next, you can select which quality criteria you would like to look for. You can do all of them, but I'm going to look for specific ones based on the part that I have. Circuit coolant temperature, cycle time. I'm going to change this to a weight of five. You can give a criteria a weight from one to 10. One means that it's not very important and that whatever percentage that mold flow assigns to it is the percentage that it's going to use. However, if you give something a weight of 10, then it shows that it is 10 times more weighted, which increase, which multiplies the percentage by 10 times. I'll be looking at sink mark depth. And lastly, and lastly I'll be setting new warp criterion. First, I'm going to select width by end of fill and give this a weight of 10. Next, I'll be selecting edge nodes. Third, I'll be selecting the length. And lastly, the width by gate. The design of experiments is now set up. In the next video, we'll be looking at how these criteria affected the part and what the results look like.